Talk a lot about Devin Tompkins and the growth he's made from last season. Can I put it in perspective how far he's come? Oh, he's come a long ways, and, and I think his attitude, his mindset, has, has gotten so much better. So uh, now he can help him get better with all the techniques and stuff that we're doing. Ask him to do. Can he contribute this year? Or is he still more of a he has a chance to contribute. Yeah, that's the beauty about spring ball. Like these guys have a chance to show that they can contribute, especially when ball comes. Your group got a makeover on the transfer portal this year. What were you looking for in particular, uh, traits wise, skills wise, when you went to the portal? Just great players that fit our culture and fit what we do. So we're very, very um, grateful with the group we have. Too. Anthony Lucas has you know, played a little edge rusher today. But what have you just seen from him in this time? It's great when you see big guys move well. You know, he's a big human being that, that moves very, very well and, and loves the game. That's probably the thing that separates everybody is, is how much passion they have for the game and he definitely has it. Is there a position you see him more naturally fit into or is the idea to kind of move him around? To move him around, yeah. That's what we did with 49 last year. And, uh, we want all of our players to, to embrace him to the power. So he's, he's, you should see him everywhere. Caleb was raving about a play he made a few weeks ago. Um, has he exceeded your expectations or surprised you in any way? Well, I, I try not to look too far ahead. I just have my own process of developing uh, their mindset, their skill set, in terms of just taking it one day at a time and try not to look too far ahead because uh, this is a day by day thing and we got a lot of work to do. Obviously, Anthony Lucas has all the physical traits, yep. but in terms of what you see from him so far, what does he still maybe need to work on to kind of shape that raw? Yeah, and know the playbook, and then just um, his body control. I tell him that all the time, just him controlling his body with a lot of different patterns we put him in. So, um, mastering the playbook for now, so that way he can turn over and, and figure out what the offense is. We, we, we can start about seeing more depth, more talent in the front seven. How would you compare what you have right now to where you left off last year? It's really hard because then if I say this group is really good, then it's kind of like we're dogging the last year's group. I thought last year's group did a great job for us maximizing their potential. The one thing that was missing last year was the pure, the just numbers. You know, we were not deep at all in numbers at all. Talent-wise, that's hard to tell. This group still got to prove themselves. But um, last year's group did a great job of setting the standard foundation expectations for us. You know, unfortunately, we didn't close it out good, but um, it, it's a good start. So um, we'll see how this group uh, pays out. How sort of impact has Jack Sullivan had so far in camp? Oh, man, versatile. He's very, very versatile. And he's going to be one of those guys. Last year, we probably had one or two guys that probably could do that, but like, you know, we got a few guys now like Jack that you see him play on the edge, inside, you know, so great addition. How crucial is it to have a body with someone, or someone with the size of uh, Keon Bars on the interior this year? Yeah, week? great. It's, you know, big people beat up little people. It's big people still got to be able to move, though, you know what I mean? So, and that's what he brings, so his experience and, and that, that skill set were very good for that. Did you notice him last year going against you guys? Like, yeah. Yeah, he did a great job striking blocks, and you know, so yeah, we did notice him. Coach, back to Jack for a second. He's usually the first scholarship guy out here every every practice. Does that sum him up? <laughs> that sums him up. Very mature, very professional. He knows exactly the expectation. He's he's ready to embrace it. Yeah, thank you. You inherited Corey Foreman from that Russian position. Yep. What is it like getting him back? You know, handed with your kind of guy. Another talented. Uh, Body, a little talented player, young man for us. So excited to see what he can do. What does he have to do that to earn another role this year? Just consistency, consistency of you know just um, showing up every day. You know, it can't be up this day, down tomorrow. You know, just every adversity, they're all the same. So just trying to teach all of our guys that can't differentiate the adversity. So got to figure out his mindset to be consistent. But he's doing a good job of uh, he hasn't missed a practice, so he's great. How much has it helped him just being? Great. That's exactly what you just said. It's available. Just availability and credit to his credit. He's, he's done a good job of just fighting through some pain and stuff. So he's been good. We talked to Alex at the start of the game about all the self analysis you guys did about the defense. Mm -hmm. What do you recall coming off those last two games, how frustrating it was, and how you kind of processed all that? Like I said, like, I always look up front. We are the tip of the spear, the tip of the defense. So we. We take that person, I take that person. That's my responsibility up front, and all the failures our guys are in such a league. So the lack of execution and, and just dominating the front from beginning to, start to, to, to end, um, that's something that I take personally. So it, it's us up front. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it.